There was something I tried off stream. Let me have a look for it really quick. I think I called it TF Maokai. Yeah, that's the one. So I was trying to make um, a Maokai with TF work. And the idea was to have a lot of stealing cards for the draw. So the idea is to level up your Maokai. So you have a lot of toss cards. You have Salvage, you have Dread Dredgers, and you have a lot of, um, you have Thorny Toad, but you also have a lot of draw. So the idea was to get a really fast level up Maokai or a fast level up TF, one of the two. Sorry, I'm not as ec excited today as I am usually. This neck pain is really limiting how normal I can act. I, are, are we good with this rhythm? Are we good at this um, energy level? What do you guys think? I feel like I'm feeling pretty decent, but maybe you guys notice it. Neck pain is normally a lower spine issue. Well, I, I specifically have an upper spine issue. I have a herniated disc right here. You missed the old grappler? Yeah, who was unbreakable. If you need a break, it's fine too. No, I don't think I need a break. I mean, I enjoy this. I don't want to not stream. I'd be bored out of my mind if I was not streaming. You guys missed the old grappler? I mean, this is literally, by definition, the old grappler who's falling apart. Thank you for the five months, the lonely stout. Thanks, buddy. Thank you for the support. Yeah, let's try this deck. You know what I want to do? I want to play Sleight of Hand. Maybe one, two Vengeance is enough, I think. Dredger seems bad. Maybe Thorny Toad. Keep it as a two of, and this is a two of. Let's try this. I just want to try it out. So this might be a weird list. It might do really badly, but we'll give it our best shot. Zero twenty, 20 Guys, chill. It's the, the deck is not that bad. It's, it's bad, but it's not that bad. We're up against what? Ash Sijuani. A three drop is kind of nice to keep. I think we eat Mulligan actually everything. I think we want the early drops if possible. Wow, no one drops at all. We've got four one drops. It's kind of weird. This is a monk S hand. Okay, we got a two drop. That's fine. I'm okay with this. What are your PC specs? Um, 1080 video card. I have an um, i7 processor. It's a laptop though. The music. Oh, it is nice. The music is nice, my dude. Sorry we're a bit late. Hey man, welcome to the stream, Tio. You're actually pretty on time, man. 26 minutes in. Where is Bubble Bear? Missing in action, guys. Not to be found. Let's take this trade if we can. Try the new lab? Yes, I have. We played it for like three hours straight, actually. Why do I stream in the morning, Astro? Atso? It's just the time I wake up these days. It's a very comfortable time for me to stream. If you win this game, I'm going to sub. <laughs> that sounds nice, man. Thank you. That's nice of you. The new lab is great. I think I'm drawing a card here. Never lost a fair game. I wanna... Blue as the serpent. I wanna find, like, Make It Rain, or... Do I even run Make It Rain in this? Wow, I don't run Make It Rain? That, that looks that looks horrible, dude. How do I not run Make It Rain? That's kinda silly. So the reason I'm doing it like this, and I know it looks weird, but the reason I'm doing it like this is I want to open attack with this guy and him have no blockers. And we'll see what happens. Because if I can hit face, I can do double pilfered goods, which is kind of nice. Imagine not running make it rain. So we got the we got the double pilfered goods if we want it. I might even pilfer goods in sleight of hand. I'll see what I do. I mean, first I'm doing this to see what I draw. What are we at? It's four out of eight. Five, six, seven, eight. So, I, I'm just gonna go for a sleight of hand here. Calling strike is not bad. Let's steal a good card from him. Let's limit his hands. He might even have a buffed card for Moment Hawk in his hand. He doesn't like this. That's not bad. That's not a bad steal. It's not a bad steal at all. Okay. Um, we just need to survive this one turn, basically. Ah, uh, I can level up TF here. I guess I have to do that. I, that's my only play at the moment. I'm going to play TF leveled up into Ice Veil Archer, I think. He's pissed. So TF level, um, definitely play protection on board and freeze the 6-4, right? Yeah. Seems like the best play. No way a mid-range deck like this should have so much draw power. 
I tend to agree with that as well. Alright, what do we draw with this? Mm-hmm. Okay. This goes here. This goes here. What are we at if we block like this? We're down to six if we do this. If he has a buff, we're not that bad. Um, I think this is my only play. I think this is what I gotta go for. I can block with this guy for one more damage. Block the 5-1. I'm killing the 5-1 with my next play, though. Maybe I'm better off blocking this, actually. Yeah, this is probably the best block I have. And we're down to 9 instead of whatever. I like this better. Plus, we're not overhealing for 1. No, no, no. Horny Toad doesn't go there. Because we're going to kill this this turn or next turn if he kills our guy. We'll play the other guy. Wasting healing. I didn't waste the healing here. I would have wasted if I blocked this guy. So see, this is dying. This is maybe dying. Not 100%. Okay, that's fine. He should have used that before. That was a misplay by him. That was a pretty big misplay, actually. I think both these guys... Do they both attack? I wonder. Oh, boy. Three. We have four mana left if we play this. We can follow up with this into nothing. I think this is correct. I think I have to go with this. Is this a mill deck? It's a... Uh, mill is a secondary win condition. That's the idea, at least for now. We've got quite a bit of heal. He's played two assessors so far. Alright, let's, uh, let's draw a card here. Let's see what we draw. Reckoning time? It might be a Reckoning. It's possible. I mean, if he has Reckoning, it's not the end of the world. At least I don't think it is. So, any card will kill both of these off. Let's play Dredgers then. And this will give me access to Pilfered Goods to steal cards. Any one of these he blocks with his guy is going to kill him. So his 5-4 is dying to any of these that he blocks. Okay. Maybe I should have attacked with Twisted Fate. I'm not sure, though. If he has a way to buff his guy, it's a problem. So two free cards that are reduced. Oof, not the best shot. Not the best deals. Watching droplets increase the size of my jaw by 40%. <laughs> nice, dude. Nice. I mean, I can still lose if he drops down What's-Her-Face. I mean, I, I might have to just do Vengeance next turn, if I'm being honest with myself. It's possible I might have to Vengeance next turn. He has two more Ashes, basically. Avoiding BM. Kind of. Yeah. Now now he's BMing by waiting forever. <laughs> now, now I think I can play the emote. Why is he waiting? I have no idea. Should get a Gillette commercial like the guy on Twitch. You got the jaw? You think so? I think is I never I never clean shave. I never shave all the way. Like this is I always have a little bit of um scruff. He's thinking. That's a that's a long thinking. If that's what he's doing. It's a long think. If you were a famous gangster, would you use the name Grappler as your street name or would you pick something like Bootsy? <laughs> Probably Grappler, dude. He not only has the jaw, he has the eyes. I can steer right into your soul, buddy. How's the my level? 15 out of 25. This will give him to um 18. He's not that far. Oh, actually. Because so to level up Maoka, you need to play him, and then you need to play cards over him. Because um these guys give you the tosses that you need. The saplings. But we went for the TF instead, which means I'm not gonna play Maokai probably this game. Insta pregnant from that look. How'd you come up with the grappler? Well, I do grappling. I'm uh I competed in Brazilian jiu-jitsu many years. Is he rage quit? No, now he's now he's BMing for for fun. He's he's very he's very salty. I mean, let let the man salt. It's fine. I don't, I don't mind people salting on me. He didn't DC now. He's he's purposely passing. Please warn me next time you stare at the camera. You've been warned, my friend. You've been warned. Should skinny fat dudes cut or bulk after quarantine and get in shape? I'd say lean bulk, like slowly put on weight and exercise really hard. Used to work up, I lost most of the muscle. Muscle comes back really fast if you used to have it. Grapple whole burgers in your mouth. <laughs> nice, dude. 
Imagine roping to waste both people. You know, I never minded roping because I get to talk to chat. Like, most of my stream is just hanging out with chat. I really don't mind at all. It's never been an issue for me. I guess we're going to pass here. Like, I have everything I need in hand. We'll see what he pulls me in with. If he pulls me in with the 5-2, I'll probably play... I mean, I'm just I'm probably always playing harsh winds here. You're counter roping. I could counter rope. They should increase waiting time. You know what I think they should add? They should add in competitive mode a total timer. Like you have 30 minutes of total time you can use, right? Or whatever the the right time would be. If you add a total timer to your side, then you're you're ticking away your time every time you're thinking, right? I think that would be the best. The way Artifact did it. I don't know what the right amount of time is. Yo, Beanstalk. Gift of tier one sub to debut 16. Beanstalk, thank you very much, man, for the support. That's very nice of you, dude. Thank you very much. It's really kind of you. Um, I think the right play is this. If you would have pulled me with the 5-6, I would have gone for Vengeance instead, because now he can still do on um, Fury of the North. So I think Vengeance would have been better. Oh, shit. I forgot to block. <laughs> oh, my God. I forgot to block, dude. It doesn't matter. I'm going to do Culling Strike almost every time on him. It's because of Culling Strike. I was thinking I'm going to do this and then when I get my mana back, I Culling in response. But I should have blocked anyway. It was a misplay not to. Like, just in case I changed my mind. I mean, I, I can't see myself changing my mind. What can I draw off the top deck that would make me change my mind? Not much. No, we, we have mana for Culling after blue card. Why is this clown roping? Because he likes to rope. Let the guy have his fun. I feel like losing the game because you ran out of total time for the game would feel really bad. Well... Yeah, but then you manage your time, right? You just start managing time. So if he did have that, we're just going to kill him via, um, via this. Not much we can do about this. He's going to finish him off with calling strike. So what do we draw here? I'm hoping to find my last TF. That's really the most important thing to find at this point. Let's kill him while we still can. We have um, Everosan Trapper. We have Babbling Bjerg. Though Babbling doesn't draw anything from my deck, unfortunately. Not that I can think of. Have you checked Yon's new version in um, League of Legends Ghost Mode? I have not. Do I watch cartoons I used to as a kid? Not anymore. Hey, Beanstalk. Beanstalk with a tier 1 sub as well. Beanstalk, thank you very much, man. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. That's a, You've given a few subs and you've already... You've been very supportive this stream. Thanks a lot, buddy. Draws the Yeti. That's true, actually. I can go Avaros and Trapper into Babbling Bjerg into Yeti for, for exactly 8 mana. That's a pretty good play. Well, that's a 4-4. Four, 4-4, four. Four, four, that's 8-8. Eight, eight. Plus 5-5, five, five. that's 13. 13 stats for, for 8. I like it. I like that a lot. I think I will. I think I will do it. What's the idea behind this deck? So this deck, um, it was basically to level up either TF or Maokai really quickly, depending on the matchup. Some matchups, I think you want to level up Maokai first. I mean, I can still lose. Like, I haven't won this game yet. It's far from one. You know what we should do? We should start, we should start um, doing the same thing as him. I'm pretty, I'm pretty chill with that. I'm pretty good with that. I think I'm going to chill as well. Let's start, let's, start, let's start burning his rope as well. I mean, we got all the time in the world. We're, we're not in a rush, right? Rope him? Yeah, I think we're going to rope him back. I think um, we can have a rope fiesta, boys. Fight fire with fire. That's the plan. He's thinking long on purpose. He, th he thinks he's being... Um, what was the right word for this? He thinks he's being annoying. Little does he know I'm streaming, which also means I get to talk to chat all day. Grappler groping. Yep, that's the plan here. So him himself, he's right now on his computer. Oh, this motherfucker. I'm going to ruin his day. Oh, yeah. Look what a badass I am. And us, we're just having fun chatting. <laughs> Little does he know. Little does he know. Now he's thinking, wait, what? Wait, did he quit? Now, now, okay, right now this guy is thinking, oh my god, I got him to alt F4. I got him to alt F4. He's so happy. He's dancing in his seat right now. He's having a blast. You got him, dude. <laughs> Little does he know, chat. Little does he know that we're just roping right back. Oh, here we go, here we go. Let's see how close we can get without messing up. Right towards the... And so oh, I, I didn't click. I messed up, guys. Chat, I messed up. I didn't click. I auto-passed. That's my bad, guys. You can almost hear the gears overheating. Yep. All right, let's play a card. Let's play. Let's see what he does. Roping more meta than Swim's hair right now. Yeah, roping. I think roping has become tier tier one at least. Not quite tier S, but pretty close. Misplay. I miss the guys. I misplay the rope. I misplay chat. We'll get better though. It, it takes practice. Hard misplay, it can cost the game. 
I mean, we're actually we're not, we're actually not that not that far ahead right now because we need our last TF. We don't have much of a win condition in this deck. We can steal his win conditions though, so that's not that bad. It's not as bad. I wonder if he messes up here. Oh, he didn't play anything. Oh, wait, he's looking to play Reckoning. Oh shit, chat. Am I getting ruined by Reckoning here? Let's attack. Yeah, we, we, yeah, I was going to play the full combo, but it's not worth it. I think we're better off playing double Black Market Merchant at this point. Maokai levels up anyway. Yeah, we're going to get the Maokai level up eventually. Forgot, oh, I forgot to... Guys, guys, I forgot to rope. No. My man, I wonder if we can already know the baby's gender. Kappa Pride. Wait, what? My man, Tommy Shelby. Thank you for the prime sub, but the baby's gender... I kind of missed the joke, my dude. I kind of missed the joke there. Okay, guys, guys. I'm not going to make this mistake of forgetting to rope, guys. For nine months of sub, Twitch baby. I mean, I, I do want to have kids one day. I'll be honest with you guys. I do want to have kids one day. I really do want to be a father. But it's way too early. I feel like I'm way too young to be a dad. Maybe, maybe when I'm 40. Maybe then. Maybe that's a good time to start. I need to find a wife with really good genetics, though. I'm, I'm picky like that, like... I want to find a wife so that my kid has good genetics. Is that is that is that wrong? Is that weird to want to have a wife with really good genetics so your kid turns out really good? That's eugenics, bro. I mean, that's just w looking out for your kid, right? Come on, right, right, right around the corner. I think we got it. I think we got it right on the spot, boys. That's kind of wrong. Why why is that wrong though? Wait, why why is that wrong? Good genetics, physically like having an athletic build, being tall, um, being as smart as possible being having a family is disease free why is that wrong chat it's not about her being the perfect that wife girl, it's bro yo nail thanks man it's not about the girl being the perfect wife it's about having the best possible kid like i i wouldn't get married because of the girl i would get married because i want to start a family it's unfair for the other people i mean yeah but okay so if you could choose for your kid to be smart or dumb what would you choose smart right if you could choose for your kid to be handsome or ugly you would choose handsome if you get to make the choice, it's a little bit worrisome if he can go for, um... What is my play here? He's looking to Reckoning, I feel. Because if I go double Black Market, he could, um, basically just mess me up with a Reckoning. I might have to go for one Black Market here. So they're ignorant of how shit the world is. Smart people are generally more depressed. Somewhat true. Selective breeding. Guys, everybody selectively breeds. You do choose who you have kids with you most of the time. Like, you do choose to make a baby... Well... To do the act of making a baby, you do choose. Yo, Mr. Quickie. You want to be loved, buddy? Well, a lot of love for me, my friend. You got a lot of love for me. A lot of love here. I wonder if your reckoning here is... Rec Dude, I haven't drawn a single um, warning shot, have I? Have I not drawn a single warning shot yet? That's crazy. You're a mesomorph. Do I have a chance with you? Yes. Fun fact, the child's intellect is inherited from the mother. I think it goes both ways. I think both have a, have a say. You overestimate how attractive the average Twitch user is. I, I probably do. But to me, you're all handsome until proven wrong. Like, every one of you is a stud. Every one of you is a beautiful woman. So, my Twitch chat is the handsomest Twitch chat in all of all of Twitch. Until proven wrong, of course. But... Okay, so he can't do it. He can't do it. He can't Reckoning for this. We seem to be good, guys. We're gonna go for Black Market Merchant then. Or wait, do we go for Babbling Bjerg instead? Nah. Nah, not necessarily. Uh, maybe. Maybe we babbling instead. Because otherwise we don't get the value of the draw, right? But we already have a full hand. We don't need draw. So let's uh let's figure this out. How, how is his 5-3? That's chat. That's cheating. How is his better than mine? That's unfair. I'm, I'm actually a little bit a little bit upset that he gets to get the better draw. I got a 4-2 Ice Veil Archer. He got a 5-3 Ice Veil Archer. He has bigger meat than me. <laughs> Most cognitive assessments show the Flynn effect generations are getting smarter overall and bringing up the average IQ score. Yeah, but IQ score is also, um... Okay, 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 okay. We stole his last draw. He has no more draw chat. He's out of draw cards. That's not bad. That's a 2-mana 5-4. I like that. I might play that, actually, because if he opens with, um, Reckoning... I don't need more draw. If he opens with Reckoning, I need to have a 5 attack guy on board. Otherwise, I'm have no blockers. So then I can play on Babbling Bjerg or Ice Veil Archer and be fine. Nab OP. Yeah, Nab is pretty cool when you have both of these guys on. I gotta admit. Plus draw one. True, I could, I could just draw the Yeti now. Like, my odds of drawing Yeti for next turn are 66%. I like this. I kind of want a warning shot. 
Play Ice Veil, Bjerg, Yeti Assessor. Yeti Assessor? Oh, I see what you're saying. No, but I need to have this on board. I don't need more draw chat. I'm, I'm already like 12 cards into my deck. I've got too many cards. Now, he could do something like a Freeze plus... Like, let's say he does Harsh Winds plus um, Reckoning. It's not as big of a deal. Because then he's wasting 12 mana, which means he can't play anything on top of that unless he has a Yeti. So then I could just follow up with um, Ice Veil Archer plus uh, Vengeance plus Grasp if I had 13. Well, it's going to be Ice Veil Archer plus Vengeance most of the time. Please stop roping. I can't dice. He's roping. We're, we're going we're gonna to stick with it. We're going to stick with the rope. I forgot to rope? Chat, did I forget to rope? I forgot. Oh, no. Do how, how do I... All right, he's he's obviously a better roper than I am, chat. All right, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Plus 10 seconds. <laughs> this game is going to take a while. I don't mind. Just surrender. Karmic, you obviously don't know who we are here. Chat, type 1 if you're disappointed in somebody suggesting we surrender this. I want to see how many people are disappointed in chat with that suggestion of surrendering. Thank you, chat. <laughs> Thanks, chat. Thanks for the support, guys. Imagine letting the Roper win. I mean, he might win. I, it's not about him winning. It's about him not getting the satisfaction of wasting our time. Never surrender. Never, dude. It's it's in my blood to go to the last minute. You know, I actually do... No kidding. When I used to play more um, off stream and somebody would rope me, I would do this every time. I would put on like a movie on the side and rope every single turn until he gives up on the rope. And they usually give up on the rope. Did you go to college? What was your degree in? I have a degree in civil engineering and I have a other degree in banking. So I did quite a bit of college, yeah. Hey, Nakehux. Thank you for the sub, buddy. Thank you for the sub, Nakehux. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you for the support. Why sleight of hand? Because it's fun, dude. It's fun to steal something from their hand. I enjoy it. How many cards? I have 11, I think. No, 10 left. We got 10 cards left. We got to be careful with them, Twisted Fate. I'm not even sure if we can play him at this point. My man, good to see you. Good to see you too, German MX. Roping misplay. Oh, 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 oh. You actually called it. I think I was going to rope there. Is it legal to show those guns on stream? It should be illegal. I, I agree with that. Maka looks pretty sexy. Yeah. Yes, he does. Oh, he's open attacking. Open attacking? Really? Hmm. So this block's here. And I wonder how we're going to do this. What's the best way to block here? What do you guys think? He's mad. I think he is. Remember to rope? I, I, I'm remembering, guys. How would you guys block? I don't want to block with these guys because I have pilfered goods at double reduction. Grasp? I don't want to grasp yet because he might do harsh winds after the block and then I grasp. If I grasp, he doesn't harsh winds. So I'm thinking of blocking with this here and this here. Just to drop it down to one. Actually, is that even is there even a point of dropping this down to one when I can drop it to two? I think I block with this instead. I think what I don't have make it rain or or any way to ping it off, so I think this is better. I think this is the best play. Actually, maybe I should have blocked the 5-3 with this guy. I could go for double grasp, though, if he freezes. Yeah, I should have blocked backwards. I should have blocked the 1-1 one, on one the 5. Yeah, this was a misplay. This was absolutely backwards. How are, no, he's going to harsh wins. This deck runs, what, 2-3 harsh wins? I didn't rope. It did. It auto-roped me. Play around Elixir of Iron, maybe? Let's take a lunch, and this game hasn't finished yet. Yeah. Double grasp is Nexus. I could do that. The good thing is we have more board than he does. I'm quite happy with that. Level Maokai. Okay, so we get the we get the good hits in. Um, I can't play Maokai anymore because I'm gonna be tossing two cards for every. I need to drop him after he's leveled. I can't toss cards anymore. I'm down to ten cards. I have two little cards in deck. I think I'm gonna go for Enraged Yeti here, and follow it up by. I don't even know if I can play this guy. Babbling Bjerg doesn't draw anything, so he's he's pretty safe to play. Four mana four four. So probably Babbling plus. Oh, I messed up. Oops. Chat. Chat. My rope skills are no good. Chat. My roping sucks. Oh, that's so sad, dude. I used to be better than this at roping. You might just mill yourself at this point. I might. I actually might. Oh, no. I have 10 cards. Oh, no. Chat. Chat, I messed up. I got 10 cards. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're, we're roping incorrectly. I mean... TF is kind of dangerous to play. TF is really dangerous to play because he he makes me draw two cards per turn. I'd be down to five turns. No! <laughs> Watch the feet. No, 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 no! <laughs> it was a treasure, boys. It was a treasure. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine, chat. Do we attack with... I can't even play this yet. Inverted roping. Never playing a turn. Oh my god! 
No! No! Wait, how's the timer so fast? Guys, how's the timer so fast? Oh no, dude. Oh no, we're we're the worst ropers in the game. We're we're the worst ropers in the game. We're so bad at roping. Holy crap. I can't believe it. I can't believe how bad we are at roping. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I didn't click. I'm clicking, guys. I'm clicking. Alright, just press Yeti. Yeah, okay, fine, fine, fine. I'm just gonna insta-play the Yeti, guys. I'm, I'm gonna- I'm gonna- I'm gonna be fast. I'm gonna be fast. Don't worry. Stop roping, man. You're gonna mill yourself? I might. <laughs> I might. I burnt it to the end. I see. I see. Okay, okay. We're, we're gonna fix it, guys. It's gonna make you lose instantly if you lose rope. Okay, we're just gonna do one rope. We're just gonna do one fast play. Just not to- not to lose instantly. There it is. There it is! Fastest hand in the West, boys! The fastest hand in the West. Dude, both of these guys toss three. I can't toss three. That's a problem. So this is almost level up for Maokai. Inverted roping strategy, not even playing a turn. True, right? Make a turn timer. Yeah, they really should. How many cards does he have? He has six cards there and 15 in the deck. We can level this up before we get to four, I think, if we're good enough. So here's a, here's a problem. If, and this is a big if, I play this, and he does harsh wins plus reckoning, I might not have a comeback mechanism. I think I'm going to end the round here in open attack. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, guys. Got another one. Okay, 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 chat. We're going to have a full hand coming up. A full cheap hand. I will attack, guys. Everything is going to attack here. You're going to keep passing to try and mill you? I think so. I attacked with these guys last because it incentivizes to block this in case I have buffs. Winnable Pog. This is a good third card. All right, I'm just going to play it once the red thing starts. Conan thinks he's very funny, so sad. I'm enjoying this game. I'm enjoying this game. Steal his cards. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying, guys. He has no more assessors. His ash is not even close to leveled. Um, we have Vengeance to play with. And we can steal a lot of his stuff. Play two lore. It came back. The 88 guy is still here. <laughs> oh, no, dude. We get to talk to Matt. This good. Yeah. I mean, this is the good part about having a good chat. You can do these things for fun. Or you just keep shuffling them back in the deck. Yeah, but I need to have a Maokai on board, right? I need to have it on board, and he has a way to kill it. I have no way to buff its HP to 5. Force him to kill unit. If it's a fight they want. I had to attack with everything, including this, unfortunately. I might have to go for Grasp here. I think Grasping here is correct. Because I still have um this, and then this, and then everything is discounted by 2. So, this is probably good. The other argument is to play Grasp on this as well. Maybe that's good? Because if I play this, I'll be up to 3 mana. Then I can't play the Pilfered Goods. It's no good. I can't save the Black Market Merchant. For the memes? Maybe it's correct. It saves me 3 mana, 4 mana. Having a 5-5 five, five on board is too important. Because he does run Reckoning. More than one copy, probably. Ooh, his timer's out, boys. His timer's low. Oh, oh, he's fast, guys. He is fast, chat. That's a fast guy. Did you, did you see the timer on that? It went down to zero. This, guys, this guy has this guy has roped before. This guy has experience in roping. He's a professional. I agree. I agree, chat. He is a professional. Too fast. Too fast. <laughs> pro roper. Too pro. <laughs> oh no, dude. We how did we run into a pro like this? He has a degree in roping, probably. All right. We got the we got the black market merchant. We got the pilfered goods. Like, we have some good stuff. That's how he got the Masters. I can believe that, actually. I can believe that. He's up to 14 cards. The other play is to level up Maokai and steal his hand. Like, steal his deck. That's another play, if I can get there. Grappler versus Ropler. That's what it seems like. Imagine if this dude is sniping. I mean, maybe, he's, maybe he is. Maybe he's having fun in chat. Let him have a good time. He's probably 50 when he gets the gold. <laughs> You're invested in this game after watching it for two hours. <laughs> I have two more Maokais in the deck. That means we have one Twisted Fate. That means we have guaranteed three things we can't toss. So we're still tossing the entire thing. I get... Hmm. A 6-5, huh? That's a bit of a problem. Well, I mean, we're playing Black Market Merchant no matter what. I just wish I could have this leveled up. It's a shame I can't level him up. That's a bit of a bummer. Is this the first game on the stream? It is. How crazy is that? Save Nab for Finisher. I can't, though, um, because... Maokai is too far away from leveling. Save Pilford? I, I do plan on saving Pilford, yes. 
I do like saving Pilfered here. That's a really good card. It's a pretty good steal. I like that. I, I think I might save a Pilfered, indeed. I think that's a good play. One hour game. It's a pretty slow game. You technically, um, wait, what? Call, level him up. You can play two dudes. I can't play him until he levels up, though, because he, he generates this guy. And that guy just mills my deck. I can do it once I'm down to, like, TF and two Maokais in deck, then I can do it for sure. I have four Maokais, no, three Maokais in this deck. So if I, as long as I have one alive, I can, I can shuffle the other one. He's roping, playing Ash, Sejuani. True. Chefs are in the bet, in the deck. It's a bit of a problem that he has this many 5 attack plus units, but not a huge problem. Problem I can live with, basically. Ashish players or clowns. Not all of them, I mean, it's okay to play a meta deck if you want to climb. If I play the lifesteal guy, he doesn't level up now, he only tosses 3. And I can't afford to toss 3, because that's literally my whole deck. You've never seen such eloquent roping in all your years. Rex coming? Well, this doesn't get wrecked, so it's fine. As long as this is not getting wrecked, I think I'm okay. Pilford Goods, nab to four cards left, kills his champions, Maokai into that. That seems like the play here. This is really important on a defensive play. If he plays um, if he plays Harsh Winds plus Reckoning, I need to have this to play on the board. Because this is only one mana, and I can follow it up with both Vengeance and um, Grasp. That's 13 total. Heard this match started last patch. <laughs> How did the buffs and nerfs affect the game? <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh no. Oh no, that's, that's, that's the best joke of the day. If you lose this game, I will be so angry and please don't fail this. Guys, this is a very losable game. This is not a winnable game by many, by many counts. This is easy to lose, believe it or not. This is an easy game to lose. When this match ends, Targon will be out. Like, I'm not sure if I'm going to beat him by killing him or if I'm going to beat him by, um, by milling him. I'm not sure which is our win condition. I'm really not sure. Maybe he's a slow thinker. It, that might be it. I don't see how you lose this. I do. Milling myself, losing cards, that's one way. And the other way is him having some kind of really weird um, board wipe that I can't foresee. Like, let's say I block with these two guys. They get down to three, he has like double double frostbite into reckoning, into huge open attack. All right, who do we top deck? I guess it's... As long as we don't... Oh, that's a really good card. As long as we don't top deck a TF or a Maokai, then we can do a really early um, uh, toss card. Because we have three champions in here. Once we're down to three, we can toss... That's a great, great steal because we get the card that can activate Pilferd, the warning shot. I don't know if we have more Pilferd goods in the deck. That's the only hard question to answer. Do we have more Pilferd goods? If we have more Pilferd goods, it gets even easier. What a weird game. I'm going to have to play Grasp on this if it attacks. If it pulls one of these two in. It's one of the best plays I have, actually. How much do I love Grasp? A mil eon. Hey, thanks, buddy. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. That's very kind of you. A mil eon. I like that. Thanks, bro. That is kind. Now, I wonder if I block this with the 5-5 five, five instead. I probably do. I probably do block it with the 5-5. Five, five. Actually, I don't... No, no, no. I Do I? Probably do. Harsh Winds incoming. Could be Harsh Winds. Yeah, I agree with that. I think this is better. Um, Because I need blockers that are 5 attack or higher not to lose to Reckoning. I want my 5 attack plus guys to stay alive. I don't let this die. I don't think I let that die, guys. Should have drained the archer. I don't think so. I don't think draining the archer is correct there. It can't block. Yeah, but do I take six damage to face, dude? I don't think... He can refill... Guys, he has 10 mana. He can refill his board. Longest match ever. It's pretty close there. Was this guy roping from the beginning? No, he was roping after I, um... After I didn't emote him back to his Shen emote. He played a Shen emote. I went to Shen emote. And I'm like, oh, crap. I got no Shen emote. I'm like, oh, I'm just not going to emote. And then he got pissed. He got pissed I didn't Shen emote him back. He got, he got salty. He's like, oh, how dare you not Shen me back? How dare you? Well, I, I got the comeback. I got the answer to your Shen. I mean, this is always a play, right? I think playing the Yordle is correct here every time. Then again, that does mess me up somewhat. Let me see. If I play Yordle and he does Harsh Winds plus Reckoning, he wipes my entire board. One, two, three, four, five. Then I can drop the Maokai instantly. I, li I like that. I like that if he has that play. Once you win, you need to see Brom. Brom wave at him. If I win, guys. If I win. I gotta win first to win. We need a nab to destroy his deck. We have a nab at the moment. I mean, we can even use this to nab. But that, that, that requires an allegiance. That's the problem. Yeah, you're, you guys are right. I'm gonna do that afterwards. You're 100% correct, chat. I'm gonna play this. There's no problem with playing this, per se. It doesn't draw. It's just one more unit on board. 
I need to win this. Guys, it's not a 100% win. This is, I'd say they're like 70% to win this. It's not that great. Oh, look at him. Look at, oh, oh, wow. Guys, we got an open attack. Wait, what? We get to open attack? Hmm, that ain't bad. That ain't bad. But still, Maokai is not leveled up. It's a bit of an issue. I mean, we have lethal on board. Harsh wins, yeah. I know, I know, I know. I'm aware. Ooh, that's a nice card. So it's going to attack like this, I think. Actually, in this case, I think we attack like this. Because he has to worry that we nabbed maybe one of his buff cards. Actually, no, he doesn't because there's no nab cards in hand. Uh, this is fine. He has harsh wins, probably. There's a good chance he does. Um, we still have to attack and waste his harsh wins. He only has one blocker. Let's see, if he blocks this, freezes both of these, he's down to two. To see this full future film movie in, I'm quite invested. Uh, this this full feature movie is going to be out worldwide, my friend. Oh, he can find it at any local theater. Shame the Runeterra devs do nothing but roping. I think they're great at their jobs. I, I don't think it's fair to say if they were good at their jobs. Like, the game has gone really well up till now. The, met the metas have been super diverse. You're dipping. Hey, have a good one, Lubu. Thank you for surviving until now, my friend. Thank you for watching, buddy. We have an Icefield Archer. That could have been buff. This is going to be on YouTube. I, ha I don't think so. I've, I've got my doubts on this being on YouTube, my friend. So that's a reckoning if I ever saw one. Like, that's an instant reckoning, right? I think this might be it, boys. This might be where we get to. They see me roping. They hating. Trying to catch me riding dirty. Gonna be a one hour. No, this is this is gone for almost an hour, yeah? Heard that the vaccine for COVID-19 is gonna come before the end of this game. <laughs> Oh no, dude. Not the COVID-19 vaccine. Oh no. Oh lord. Already a one hour game? It is. It's a pretty long game up till now. It's been very long. He can keep shuffling Ash and Sejuani though. That's the, that's the only issue here. He has what? How many? We've killed one Sejuani, right? Guys, help me out here. How many did we kill? We've killed two Ashes. How many Ashes have we killed? I can't remember. Anybody remember in chat how many of each we've killed? One of each. Okay, so that he has one of each left. Okay. I'm never playing into Reckoning. If he... My aim is true. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Wow, that's weird. He's getting a top deck arrow, guys. I have to kill that, right? Guys, I can't play Maokai. He's not leveled. Maokai level up? I can't level him up, guys. I can level him up with this, though. Um... 12. Kill it. Kill Ash. Steal first. I can't steal, guys. Well, I could steal, actually, but I want to keep this as a win con. I'm down to five cards. I can't steal arrow because arrow's on top, guys. This is the right play. How good is Sleight of Hand here? I guess Sleight of Hand's really good here. Yeah, I like that. Guys, the arrow's on the top of his deck. The arrow's on top of his deck, guys. Old Plunder thinking. Yeah. You, you steal from the bottom of the deck, chat. They changed it. You can't steal the arrow, it's on the bottom of the deck. Plus, arrow's a bad card to steal, because I'm I'm five cards left. I got one TF2 Maokai's in this deck. So he's down to one Ash and two Sejuani's. So he if he has a Sejuani in his deck, he loses, basically. If, if he has both Sejuani's in hand, I think he might win. I think if he doesn't, he might lose. We'll, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Guys, what do you mean end the game? I can't end the game. It's not It's not that... If if there was an end the game button win, I think I'd press it by now. Oh my goodness. You have Yordle with warning shot, you can pilfer it. I know, but... But it's the wrong play. Mill him with nab. That's the play, guys. That's what I'm going to do. But I need this to level up first. I need this. Uh, guys, I know Grifter gives warning shot. I'm aware. I'm aware, guys. But he also steals a card from the deck after I level up Maokai. And he puts him down to one card instead of two. I can't Grifter here. Dead Bloom level would work though. Yes, I can I can definitely Dead Bloom, but I run the risk of just losing the game as well. I'd rather take it slow. I if he doesn't do anything, if I draw a non-champion card, I think I'll do Dead Bloom next turn. Because he only tosses actually no, he doesn't even toss three chat. I got two cards he can toss. He doesn't even toss three. I can't pass. I I need to play this every time. Slide of hand is super important here. Please make it faster. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bits, Abcha. Thank you, man. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying so hard to make it faster. Actually, I'm not. I'm trying I'm trying to do the right thing, chat. I'm trying to do the right thing. Even if they don't actually toss, really? I had no idea. 
the tosses still count. Well, in that case, the longer we wait, the better for this. No, make it slower. Yo, my man, Sushi Drew. I'll try to make it slower, buddy. I'll try to make it slower. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. <laughs> nice 6 3 you got there, buddy. <laughs> oh, that makes everything so much easier as well. That, that ain't bad, boys. That ain't bad. Uh, oh, no, dude. Nice. Yo, nice reckoning, bro. <laughs> oh, no, chat. What did we do? Chat, what happened? What have we done? We do have three Maokais in this deck, right? Yeah, we have three Maokais. So there's two more in here guaranteed, which means I can shuffle Maokais. Is that the same game? Yep. <laughs> Guys, I'm not going to emote until we've certainly won. You never emote and then face the, the shame of losing. Oh no, this game is absolutely nuts, dude. This game is absolutely nuts. I know, I know, I know, I'm aware. I might have to just do this next turn because of this deal. Because now, now his Reckoning's worse, so I'm not as concerned about Reckoning in general. You're hungry? Take my time. Guys, we, we've committed to this. We can't back out now, chat. We can't back out now once we've committed to playing his game. Can we? 1k viewers, 1.1k congrats. Thank you. Thank you, Frack. Appreciate that. Before 88 and after 88. <laughs> That's great. And this actually means we're only tossing away one card with Dreadbloom. With Deadbloom. Oh no, no. I don't want, guys. I wanted to mill him. No. I wanted to mill him. But now we can do this for sure. <laughs> Now we can do this for sure. <laughs> oh no! We got the Roper, boys! Wait, how do we finish him? Do we finish him with warning shots or do we kill him with something different? Guys, how do we end him? <laughs> I don't even need a rope anymore. I don't even need a rope anymore. If I can press an end game button, I would. I don't even need to rope anymore, guys. <laughs> stick to the plan? Do we stick to the plan, chat? I don't think sticking to the plan is right. No, I'm just gonna beat him. Fuck it. I'm going- I'm just gonna kill him, guys. I'm just gonna finish him. I'm just gonna finish him with fatality. Thank you for the Prime Byra Kaipora. Thank you very much. Let's give him some emotes, guys. All of- guys, he- he put his soul into the rope. He tried so hard. And now- now he's realized all that he did in his life. He spent one hour delaying his loss. Guys, he spent one hour delaying his loss. One whole hour. He delayed it for one whole hour. Now we're going to rope him. Now we've got this. <laughs> Mr. Roper, I'll take the hit. I, I'm, I'm, it's okay with me. I'll take the hit. I'm going to delay the second shot, boys. I'm going to... No, wait, wait. Which one does he know I have? He knows I have this one, right? I'm going to play the first one. Chat. I'm not... I'm going to show him I have the second one. I'm going to let him know I have the second one. We'll play the first one first so he can watch his demise from my hand. Are you guys ready for this? Oh, life is so good. This is how you get back at a roper. No, first we're going to play Brittle Steel. No, we, we, don't, we don't end it just like that, chat. First we're going to play Brittle Steel into Pilfered Goods. What do you mean? Frozen? Uh-huh, that's right. Warning shot. <sighs> Pilfered goods. What do we draw? Okay, zero cost, zero cost. And he knows. He's he's he sees the card chat. He knows. <laughs> Your rope fiesta has come to an end, my friend. Your rope fiesta has come to an end. <laughs> see ya, see ya, see ya. Got him, boys. All your roping has come to an end. He was so committed, he actually saw the final warning shot in our hand. And we ended it on our terms, boys. We ended it on our terms, not on his terms. No, we didn't... 
we didn't rage at the rope. We didn't say, oh, what a crappy game with bad design. No. We took his game to him and then brought home the Send victory. Him to the Shadow Realm, baby. <laughs> to the Shadow Realm. Indeed. Indeed. To the Shadow Realm, he is sent. So, what, guys, 100% win rate. What did you guys think of the deck? Who said 0 21? You guys of little faith. We just beat the meta deck in a one hour plus struggle. Struggle against the society, struggle against the, the villain. One hour, but we took it. We took it down. 100% win rate. Guys, it's so good. I can go to Reddit and say, I played this deck for an hour straight with no losses. That's how good that's how good this deck is. I can make that claim and it's 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 technically true. One hour percent win rate. <laughs> oh no, dude. One hour percent win rate. I like it. I'm at, you know what? I like it so much. I'm actually gonna rename it. I'm actually gonna rename it. I think it deserves a rename.